Welcome back to Tainslade Info's Defense Update Series. In today's video, we will be seeing five updates on the defense side. The first one is regarding the rollout of Tejas Mark II fighter jet by Hindustan Aeronautics Limited. The second update is regarding the upcoming medium altitude, long endurance unmanned aerial vehicle, which has been showcased by HAL at DEF Expo 2022. The third update is regarding the trial of Brahmos NG air launched cruise missile. The fourth update is regarding the Indian multi-role helicopter model with weapon system integrated. And the fifth update is regarding Armenia's interest in procuring surface-to-air missiles, drones and loitering munitions from India. Now let's see each update one by one in a detailed manner. When the Cabinet Committee on Security cleared the Tejas Mark II project at a cost of over 10,000 crores, we expected the development trials and other activities to be expedited. But looks like that's not the case right now. As per the latest update, it looks like the official grant should have been given much earlier, which has caused delay. And not only that, the delay is also due to the request from the Ministry of Defense and Indian Air Force to increase the indigenous content of the fighter. To be more precise, even though the fabrication of the fighter has already started, the delays in granting permission and request to increase the indigenous content has further delayed the rollout of Tejas Mark II fighter. The Tejas Mark II rollout was supposed to happen by December 2022, but now it looks like it would be happening by December 2023, with first flight targeted for 2024 tentatively. If all this happens as planned, the production of Tejas Mark II will happen by late 2028 or by early 2029 tentatively. The main reason to expedite these Tejas Mark II fighters is because these fighters are very vital to replace the existing Mirage 2000, Jaguar and MiG-29 UPG fighters of the Indian Air Force fleet. Now moving on to the next update relevant to the upcoming medium altitude long endurance unmanned aerial vehicle which has been showcased by HAL at DEF Expo 2022. The state-owned Hindustan Aeronautics Limited and Aeronautical Development Establishment have showcased a medium altitude long endurance unmanned aerial vehicle at the ongoing DEF Expo 2022 defense exhibition. These medium altitude long endurance unmanned aerial vehicles would be used for both reconnaissance surveillance and communication purpose and there are plans to integrate these unmanned aerial vehicles with weapons missiles using six hard points. Majority of the features like the engines, the satellite communication, the payload sensor and auto takeoff and landing system will be adapted from the Tapas drone. Even though the Tapas medium altitude long endurance unmanned aerial vehicles are currently powered using NPO Saturn 36T engines, in future, it would be powered using the indigenous engine, which is being developed by the Vehicles Research Development Establishment in collaboration with a private company. We'll be getting more clarity on other aspects once the development of these drones progresses as per the plan. Now moving on with the third update, which is regarding the trial of the Brahmos NG air-launched cruise missile. Even though India has the Brahmos A cruise missile, which is a modified air-launched variant of the BrahMos missile, there is a need for another air-launched variant of BrahMos, which is BrahMos NG. Unlike BrahMos A, which requires structural changes like hardening of the structures to equip the fighters with these missiles, the BrahMos NG doesn't have the prerequisites since these missiles are lighter and smaller in size. Since BrahMos NG doesn't need any modification to the existing fighter airframes, it can be equipped on the majority of Indian Air Force fighter fleet within less time and with less effort. These BrahMos NG missile trials would begin by 2024 tentatively, and most probably if everything goes fine, these missiles are expected to be inducted by 2024 end. These BrahMos NG cruise missiles, which have a speed of 3.5 Mach and high accuracy, it has a great potential in export markets as well. So let's hope these missiles undergo all required trials as planned and enters the production very soon. Moving on with the fourth update, which is related to HAL's 
Indian multi-role helicopter. During ongoing DEF Expo 2022, a model of Hindustan Aeronautics Limited's Indian multi-role helicopter with weapon system integrated has been showcased. The Indian multi-role helicopter is a medium lift head chopper which is currently under development by Hindustan Aeronautics Limited and it is for the Indian Defence Forces. These helicopters will be used for air assault, air attack, anti-submarine, anti-surface and military transport and VIP transport roles. The main reason for coming up with these Indian multi-role helicopter is to replace the current Russian Mi-17 and Mi-8 helicopters across the Indian Defence Forces. It was good to see the Indian multi-role helicopter with integrated weapons, sensors and electronic warfare suit in the DEF Expo 2022. This scaled model of IMRH was shown equipped with a 70mm rocket pod and anti-tank guided missiles. Not only that, the scaled model was attached with a day and night optical camera, radar and missile detectors, forward-looking infrared, IR jammers and chaff and flare dispensers. A total of six prototypes are planned for trials with the first flight planned for 2025 or 2026 tentatively. These Indian multi-role helicopters are expected to be introduced to the Defence Forces by 2028. So that was an update regarding the latest happening with the HAL's Indian multi-role helicopter and now moving on to the fifth update related to Armenia. During September 2022, Armenia placed an order for three different variants of Pinaka rocket system in a deal worth 250 million US dollar and this is for four batteries. Each battery of the Pinaka system consists of six launch vehicles and each launch vehicle is equipped with 12 rockets. The three variants of Pinaka rockets which are being sold to Armenia are the Pinaka Mark 1 with 37.5 km range, the next variant is Pinaka Mark 1 Enhanced with a range of 45 km and the last one is the Guided Pinaka of 75 km range. Now as per the latest update coming in from DEF Expo 2022, it is said that Armenia would be procuring more weapons from India and this could be the surface to air missiles, drones and loitering munitions. There are possibilities for Armenia to go for the Akash air defense systems and loitering munitions which is developed by Tata Advanced Systems. So that was a video to provide 5 updates relevant to defense side. The first one is regarding the rollout of Tejas Mark II fighter jet of HAL. The upcoming medium altitude long endurance drone which were showcased by HAL at DEF Expo 2022. Details about trial of BrahMos NG air launched cruise missile. Update on Indian multi-role helicopter model with weapon system integrated. Armenia's interest in procuring the surface-to-air missiles, drones and loitering munitions from India. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned to Tainslade Info for more defense and aviation related updates. Thank you.